Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Automate with Piyush, bringing the second part of the video uh, with respect to apps conditional drop downs. So, uh, just for some to summarize, yesterday I had came up, uh, I had uploaded a video about entity relationship, in which we understood how we can create two different entities on data service and set up a relationship between those two entities. One entity would have data for all the states and the another entity will have data for all the cities with respect to a particular states okay like for rajasthan jaipur and all other cities for punjab all the other cities so for example i have now populated those cities like uh, if you go to main state and data here i have added four different states and if i go to the main city entity here I have got some different cit uh, cities belonging to this respective state like for Tamil Nadu, Sikkim, Punjab, Rajasthan. Now our second component of this idea conditional drop down in the apps. So let's go over that. And guys remember uh, if, you have, if you might feel kind of disconnected from the content please feel free to go to my channel and check out the uh, last uploaded video called entity relationship that way you will get connected to the what we are discussing about so now in the apps i have created uh, used a template format of kind of a form now the idea is here we are going to update these drop down fields in a way that when a user clicks on it it lists them a respective states and based on the state the city drop down will show only the cities belonging to that particular state so let's begin with the state one it's the most simple for list source we are going to choose the entity okay we have not added the entity yet so first add the two entities we have created click on entity i am choosing my tenant here i have got main city and main state and add okay so now going back to the drop down here the list source can be a list something enumerable or even a data table so here i am going to choose this as main state which would be my list source then column this column property is only used if your list source is a kind of data service entity so now i will choose this and from my main state i want the state column that's it now i can create an app variable right over here let's call it state and save it now if i simply preview it it should show me the four states that we have added in the main state entity so clicking on the drop down here you can see our four states are coming in now currently city has no results found so let's bring in some data for that now here our list source will be a little bit different it's not just your main city as the state one here we want only the records which belong to the particular state so we will need to add a filter let's use this filter action then filter on main city i want where the main city state field here this main city dot state is basically just a guid or a unique id of that particular state it should be equal to now i need to add the another thing like here i want the particular state id so here i will choose again a new filter now filter would be applied on main state where the condition would be that main state state column is equals to the state variable so 
by this it is going to give us a collection of some rows okay now if in case our table has multiple rows with different states okay or with like multiple rows having same state state name so there is a possibility that there could be more than one row but at least one row would be there so i will now write square braces zero that is just one record i want then a dot and then id and i can then close this like this let's see so we have applied a filter our braces are closed this will come a uh, closing circular brace then a square brace and the filter brace okay we have matched up somewhere let's check uh, so open the square brace main city state is equals to filter then main state main state equal to main state equal to this state okay this is the condition so this is going to give us a particular single record then we are choosing its first value and then main state id yeah so here this should not come okay so finally it's resolved now the column so this is going to give us a set of records from the main city and what we want is just the particular city and let's bind it to a variable called city yep i guess that's it now let's preview it again So right now if I click on city it says no result found but now if I choose Rajasthan and go back it is showing me a list of cities which we have entered in the data service like this cities belongs to Rajasthan and simply if I change it to like say Punjab it changed to Punjab cities let's test for Tamil Nadu as well boom changed okay so this is the conditional drop down which you can create this can be reused in so many different kind of apps there are various possibilities for this conditional drop down try to think about that if you like this idea do mention in the comment section and please like share and subscribe to my channel hope you guys like uh, like my videos thanks for watching see you in the next video